Hey everyone, Jason Shavert here of M0A.com and in today's video post, I wanna to talk to you guys about proper spin recovery procedure. Um, we've developed an acronym for it uh, to really help students get through this. This is a question I've seen come up on numerous check rides. If you've recently done one, maybe you've had it come up, or if you have one fast approaching, you're going to need to know the proper spin recovery procedure. Now, spins are not required to demonstrate or perform for, for private pilots, but you're still required to know how to recover from them. So to help you guys remember that, we have this acronym here, which is PAR, almost like we're golfing, just with a E at the end. Okay, so what it stands for is, the P is for power back. Remember, we're in a spin, we wanna bring that power back. So when we break that spin, which is really just a stall, you're gonna begin accelerating. For those of you that actually been in a spin before, you know that you're in a stalled condition. So although your no nose is pointing straight towards the ground, your airspeed indicator still says you know 40 or 35 or whatever, uh, uh, you know, however slow you're going. It's kind of a, a weird sensation. So you wanna bring that power back because once you break that stall, you're gonna begin accelerating. The next thing is A, ailerons go neutral. The first reaction is to go opposite with the ailerons. And that's just a natural tendency. However, what that does is it actually just aggravates the spin. So you want to ailerons neutral. Next thing down here, the R is rudder, opposite rudder. Um, if you're ever spinning and for some reason you don't know which way you're spinning, look at your inclomometer. I can almost say that right, inclomometer, something like that. The, the ball underneath our turn coordinator you step on the ball, remember that. That will always read true as to which way you're spinning. And the last thing here, and this is the thing everyone forgets, is elevator down. And when I tell people this, I say, Jason, I'm already, I'm, I'm effectively spinning towards the ground. Why would I push the elevator down? Well, what do you do when you recover from a stall? Well, you push the elevator down, or at least the elevator down to neutral. Uh, to really break that critical angle attack in a spin, one wing is stalled more than the other. You still have to break that stall. And again, it feels weird to leave the ailerons neutral and push that elevator down. Um, it, it just, it doesn't feel right. But that's how you have to recover from your spin. So remember, par, power back, ailerons neutral, rudder opposite, and elevator down. Now, if you guys enjoyed this acronym, and uh, maybe that's how you learn, how you help remember stuff, helps you remember stuff from these acronyms. Um, I just released a book a couple weeks ago called Aviation Acronyms. It's really inexpensive. I think it's only like $10 in the ebook format. Um, if you want to know eight tomato flames, your required VFR day instruments, set VOTA, which covers different types of classy airspace. I've seen this one alone come up on the past two check rides my students have done. McPron, which sounds like um, something you'd get at a uh, McDonald's in New Orleans. Uh, <laughs> it covers special use airspace. No offense to my friends and fans in New Orleans. Um, uh, grab card, which is your IFR required instruments. That's just a few. It's a very small book, an easy read, something you flip into your flight bag or on the ebook. Um, you just have it on your iPhone or your iPad ready to go to help you remember these different acronyms. It tells you the acronyms, um, how to remember them, and it tells you why it's that way. Just like how I explained you that PAR acronym. Everything's explained um, exactly in that great detail. So you can check that out in the MZRA store on Amazon.com. It's there for you guys. Um, so you can check that out. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you were taking some notes to remember that PAR, that proper spin recovery, because uh, it may just come up on your check ride and not your private check ride. It may come up on your instrument pilot check ride as well. So both, be thinking about both there. Um, that's all I have for you guys this week. Most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learn. Have a great day, guys. See ya.